Hello everybody, my name's Pete Jones, a vocalist and lyric writer for Red Bazaar. We're very excited to unveil our new album, Things As They Appear. It's great to be doing this second album off the back of the first one, Tales From The Bookcase, where I think it was more of an experimental addition to the band, as it was the first attempt at writing songs with lyrics. But uh, now I am proud to say I am a fully fledged member of the band, and this is our second offering as this lineup. I'm in love with the abstract notion This is the track Temple, and uh, it's all about cults, ladies and gentlemen. C-U-L-T-S. Thank you. We all know what uh, cults are, where somebody uh, claims to have found a new uh, ethos, if you will, and uh, people will support them and uh, follow their example to the letter. People will buy into it wholesale and obey all the rules, or some people may not uh, really buy into it, but they may follow it for their own ulterior motives. I think I got slightly morbidly fascinated with cults and cult-like behavior, and it inspired me to write this song, which is uh, somewhat tongue-in-cheek, but you get the general idea. There was a second reason behind this song. What with the uh, various political and social issues that we face at the moment, uh, I got interested in the kind of people who claim to be above all of it, and either on one side or the other, they see above everything. And due to the internet, uh, we all have a place to voice our opinions and thoughts, and therefore, of course, we can uh, waste hours of our lives arguing or trying to outwit each other. But amongst all this taking of sides, you'll get somebody who will claim that nobody is seeing the bigger picture like they are. Fascinatingly, and also infuriatingly, uh, they won't tell you what the bigger picture is. They'll just say something that's kind of ambiguous and non-specific, and also sounds very clever. Which is infuriating because it's a way of making out you're telling somebody something without actually telling them anything. And you usually find that you'll get uh, one or two or a few people saying afterwards, Yes, mate, spot on, you've got it totally right there. And I find myself thinking, well, what are you agreeing with when the person didn't actually really say anything? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, is this actually a new cult? The cult of claiming to understand everything better than everybody else. I'm the one you love to follow. I give you what you think you want. I'm faith without religion. A mantra with no point. And you know that I'm your leader. Haven't I already said? So sycophants and sinners, prepare to bow your head. You can follow this cult by uh, totally agreeing that you get it without realizing that you don't even know what it is that you're not getting. But then I thought, well, here I am claiming to understand uh, this cult or trend or whatever it is. But by claiming to do so, am I inadvertently starting my own cult? The cult of claiming to understand that the people who say they understand everything better than everybody else actually don't understand what it is that they don't understand. And in fact, if that's the case, am I saying that I, in fact, see the bigger picture? Oh, Lord. There's a much bigger picture Going on behind the scenes If only you had my intellect Maybe you could work out what that means 
Or, of course, it is possible that I am, in fact, a great big pillock and I've missed more points than you've had hot dinners. Now, that indeed is a tangled web. It's kind of tongue-in-cheek, as I said before. Uh, there are a couple of songs on the album like that because, well, I don't like to be too serious and I think it's good for all of us to have a little light relief. Just maybe you could read between the lines. Other than that, it's the first song we created for the new album. I got the instrumental track from the chaps and I thought it had a great energy to it. And I already had this jolly but slightly sinister lyric. It just seemed to fit really well uh, with very little manipulation. So my contribution to the track was really quick, which seemed like a good omen for the album. Uh, the lads liked it and it really kick-started the process. At the a bit of a new direction and sound, and it seemed to us that we were onto a good thing. So we hope you like it too. That's Temple, and I'll see you on the next track.